The individuals who comprise state boards of accountancy and the numerous NASBA committees and task force are pre predominantly leaders from the accounting profession who generously volunteer their time and service. Therefore, participation and attendance at NASBA meetings requires some personal sacrifice. The turnout for this meeting is evidence of your commitment and dedication to serving the public. And I want to sincerely thank all of you for being here. One of NASBA's primary responsibilities is to provide the most effective means for state boards to exchange information. Our organization plans and coordinates meetings like this one to bring state board representatives together to update one another on the major developments and issues facing state regulation of public accountancy. NASBA is an organization of people with tremendous concern, dedication, and passion for their profession. You are NASBA, and NASBA does not exist without you. With your participation and support, NASBA can do everything you want it to do. Although NASBA's membership consists of the 55 boards of accountancy, each board is unique. Some boards are composed entirely of CPAs. Some include licensed public accountants, and many include unlicensed consumer representatives or public members. Most state boards are served by executive directors and legal counsel who play an important role in the operations of state boards and in NASBA's activities. I am pleased to note that all of these groups are represented at this meeting. We have marked on the name badges how each person is affiliated with NASBA to help you identify the officers, directors, and speakers, we've added little ribbons to the badges of those individuals. We also have ribbons affixed to the badges of those who are attending their first NASBA annual meeting. One of NASBA's great traditions is to ask all the state board members and executive directors who are attending their first NASBA meet, annual meeting to be recognized. These are very important people because they bring new life and energy to NASBA, and they are wearing ribbons that say, first time attendee. So I'd like to ask, would all of the first timers please stand now so that we can see who you are and give you a round of applause for joining us at this meeting. And so as you can see, a substantial number of our attendees, our membership is made up of new members. In fact, we estimate that about 80 new board members are appointed each year, while 80 experienced members rotate off the boards. Because of this rapid turnover, it is vitally important for new members to get involved promptly, and I encourage you to do so now. Your time is limited, and you'll hear that again from me today. Before proceeding with our program, I'd like to take a minute or two to recognize some of our guests who are not speakers, that are, not and, that are noted on the program, so that you will know who they are and extend a warm welcome to them as well. So if you glance at the attendance list, you will see we have 19 representatives of the Canadian accounting profession, including Kevin Dancy, the CEO of CPA Canada. We have one representative from the, from the Chartered Accountants of Bermuda, 14 representatives, including Senior Vice President and Susan Coffey and Bill Bauhoff, the AICPA's uh, chair. We have 19 representatives from state CPA societies and associations, three from the National Society of Accountants, 
including President Steve Hansen, CPA, and John Ames, Executive Vice President. We also have representatives from Baker Tilly, Virgil Krause, and Deloitte and Touche, Ernst and Young, Pricewaterhouse Coopers, KPMG, Moss Adams, and some other major CPA firms, as well as Prometric. Thank you all for being here with us today. Some of you have made our annual meeting a regular part of your calendar, and we are honored to have you at our annual meeting once more again this year. Finally, we are especially pleased to have with us several of our esteemed past chairs who helped guide us to where we are today. And I'd like them to please stand when their name is mentioned. Andrew Marinkovich, Sandra A. Saran, Thomas Eno, Nathan T. Garrett, Noel Kirsch, Milton Brown, John B. Peace, Barton W. Baldwin, Michael D. Weatherwax, Diane M. Rubin, Samuel K. Cotterell, Thomas J. Sadler, Billy M. Atkinson, Michael T. Daggett, and, Ma and Mark P. Harris. Also in attendance with us today is David A. Costello, past president and CEO of NASBA, and Lorraine P. Sachs, Executive Vice President Emeritus. And let's uh, please all give them a hand. <laughs> By this last group serving as serving members of the past Chair's Advisory Council, we have not lost touch with these former NASBA leaders and frequently call upon them for advice and counsel. This year, in order to help us in planning future meetings, we have prepared an evaluation form, which you will find in your handout materials. P please complete the form as you attend each session, and at the meeting's end, please leave the completed form at the registration desk or hand them to one of the NASBA staff members. If you want your comments to be tabulated, please be sure to indicate your name on the evaluation form. We are creating video files of the plenary sessions that will be available to everyone via the NASBA website, nasba.org. This will enable you to go back and view a presentation one more time, as well as benefit state board members and others who are unable to be here with us. Let me also add that there will be many opportunities uh, during the meetings for you to speak to your colleagues on an informal basis. Also, if I could remind you to please turn off your cell phones while in meeting rooms. And uh, at the back of the room, you'll see some uh, round co cocktail tables uh, that have charging stations for your mobile devices. Please feel free to take advantage of those. In addition, if you're trying to connect, uh, you go to uh, Hyatt Meeting is the username and the password is NASBA, all lowercase. While our meetings are in progress, our spouses and, and guests are enjoying a dolphin watch and snorkel trip, and I'm not sure where it's to. I've heard various things. We hope that they will join us for the Center of Public Trust showcase later this afternoon, as well as the Gala Luau on Tuesday evening on the hotel's grounds. For admission to these events, everyone will need to have their name badges visible. We're proud to host a number of distinguished speakers and guests whom I will briefly introduce to you during the course of this meeting, but you'll also find their photos and their bio background information 
about each one of them in the speaker section of your materials. First, though, we are glad to be here in the Aloha State and to introduce a little background on it. And rather than listen to me to try to describe it, we've invited uh, Nelson Lau, the chairman of the Hawaii Board of Public Accountants. So, uh, Nelson, if you're here, if you can please come, come forward. And I believe uh, accompanying uh, him, he has several people that are going to assist him. <laughs> 